Problem 1032 requires the understanding of what proeutectoid, eutectoid, ferrite, and cementite are. We start off with 1.5 kilograms of steel and the carbon composition is 0 0.3 by weight. That means we'll be finding ourselves somewhere in this approximate region. Here's 0 0.3 and we started with austenite labeled gamma cooled through the alpha plus gamma range to this line, which is the eutectoid point. Now, eutectoid means it's eutectic-like. So what's eutectic? Eutectic means good eutectic good, melt. Eutectic, good melt. In this location, at a composition of 4.3 weight percent carbon, carbon and iron have the lowest melting point on the diagram. That is the good melting point, eutectic. A eutectoid point means it's good melt like so we're not actually going from liquid to two phases we're going from a solid phase to two different solid phases in this case gamma austenite to alpha plus fe3c which is ferrite and cementite that eutectoid point is right here at 0.76 weight percent carbon. Now that temperature, 727 degrees C, remains important all the way across. So we look at what is being asked. In this case, we are asked for A. How many kilograms of pro eutectoid phase there are? B, how many kilograms of eutectoid ferrite? And C, how many kilograms of cementite? One thing we haven't identified is what pro-eutectoid means. That is the ferrite that is produced before we get to the eutectoid temperature. In this triangular region, we pass through on our cooling. Some alpha ferrite is produced in this uh, region. That is the pro-eutectoid, before eutectoid. Once we pass the eutectoid temperature, the remaining austenite becomes a combination of ferrite and cementite. So we need to apply the lever rule twice. First, we're going to apply it just above the eutectoid temperature. So our lever rule starts here, goes over to 0.76, and 
our overall length is from 0.76 to 0.022 right here. That's this location right there. So to calculate how much proeutectoid alpha we have, we take the distance from the other side of the alpha, so it's 0.76 minus 0.3 all over 0.76 minus 0 0.022. That gives us a fraction of 0.623, which means that 62.3% of our total mass has become pro-eutectoid alpha. Now, we want to multiply that by 1.5 kilograms and we'll get 0.93 four kilograms of pro eutectoid alpha. If we subtract that from our original 1.5 kilograms, that means that we have point five sixty six kilograms left. So we are at this point right here on the graph and as we come close to that eutectoid temperature we have point nine thirty four kilograms of the alpha and we have 0.566 kilograms of what is left over which is here the gamma the austenite okay now we continue to drop this temperature just below the eutectoid and we are going to do the lever rule again but this time since we're below the eutectoid we have uh, different levers we have to go from here all the way over to this line where we have the cementite now this right here is the 6.7 percent line which indicates it is a compound so we can stop right there at 6.7 percent the total line the total tie line here goes all the way across back over to here the point o twenty two Now, what we're going to calculate here is not the uh, eutectoid ferrite, or alpha. We are only going to be able to calculate the total ferrite based on this, but we'll be able to figure out the uh, eutectoid ferrite after that. We've got the alpha which is the total and the total is equal to the pro-eutectoid 
plus the eutectoid and again we use the same uh, rule the lever rule we're just using different values so we have uh, to find this alpha we have to take the right hand side here 6.7 minus and go to again this point here the minus 0 0.3 and we divide that by 6.7 minus 0 0.022 and that fraction is 0 0.958, which means 95.8% of our sample is the ferrite, which is to be expected because our line is so close to the alpha area and so far away from the FE3C line. So 62.3% of our mass is pro-eutectoid ferrite and 95.8% is pro-eutectoid plus eutectoid ferrite. So that means the difference is the eutectoid. So first I'll multiply this by 1.5 kilograms. And we get 1.438. And now we can figure out how much of this is formed right after we pass the eutectoid temperature. This is the eutectoid ferrite. So I just subtract the 0.934. And that's the eutectoid and we end up with 0.503 kilograms and that's the eutectoid alpha. Okay finally to find the amount of cementite it's pretty straightforward uh, we could use this uh, lever rule one more time, or we could just take 1.5 kilograms of total mass and subtract 1.438 kilograms of alpha and we get 0 0.062 of the cementite. Okay, so we were able to calculate the pro-eutectoid alpha right there and the eutectoid alpha. We had to subtract it from the total, but we got it. And the mass of the cementite. So in summary, for this problem, starting up at this temperature and cooling down at this composition, we had to use the lever rule twice. Once in this region where we have 
both ferrite and austenite, and we were able to find the proeutectoid ferrite. Then, as we dropped down to the eutectoid, we had to apply the lever rule again to find the total amount of ferrite. So that's what that gave us here, is the total amount of ferrite. From that, we had to subtract what we had found up here. So we had to subtract that so that we could find the eutectoid ferrite. After that, we were able to subtract the total amount that we'd found right here from the total mass that we started with and find our mass of cementite after it forms after the eutectoid. One of the most important things to know in this particular problem was the definition of eutectoid and how it's slightly different and important difference between it and eutectic. And I hope this helped.